In his great novel, The Brothers Karamazov, Dostoevsky writes that at the height of the Spanish Inquisition, there appeared a stranger on the streets of Seville, whose presence drew throngs of people that followed him through the city. The Grand Inquisitor, a man nearing 90, disguised himself in simple monk's robes and followed along with the adoring crowds. Alarmed, the Grand Inquisitor had the stranger arrested and goes to visit him that night in prison. Who? Who is it? Christus, speak. Speak. What? I see thee. Christus. No. No, no. It, it is. Who's there? Christus. No, no. Speak. Speak up. Nobody is there. Is it thou? Is it thou? Oh, Christus. Oh, Christus. No. Do not speak. Thou hast no right to add anything to what thou hast said of old. Knowest. Tomorrow, I shall condemn thee. And burn thee at the stake as the worst of heretics. Those who kissed thy feet today, tomorrow, as a sign from me, will rush to fuel the embers of thy fire. So ever thou revealest anew, raising that child from her coffin this very day, it encroaches upon man's freedom of faith, for it manifests as miracle. <sighs> miracle! And their freedom of faith was always more dear to thee than anything for 15 centuries we have been dealing with thy freedoms but now now they bring their freedoms to us and lay them at our feet this inquisition for the first time has made it possible to think of the happiness of man, that great spirit of self-destruction in the wilderness tempted thee. Thrice, thrice, with miracle, with mystery, with authority, to control that always rebellious spirit of man, thrice Thou didst reject. But it was the statement of those three powers that was itself the miracle. Dealing not with human intelligence, but with the absolute, the eternal. It Who was right? Wouldst thou go into the world with the promise of, of freedom, which man cannot even understand? Oh, oh seest, seest thou those stones? in that barren wilderness. Turn them into bread 
and mankind will run after thee like a flock of sheep. But thou didst reply, man liveth not by bread alone. What? Feed them? Then ask for their virtues? No, 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 that thou wouldst not do. Which we alone now do falsely in thy name. We feed them, then absolve them of sin. And they, they, they look on us as gods. They look on us as gods. So awful does it seem to them to be free. If, if man remains free, he strives incessantly to find someone to worship. Oh, beyond any doubt, beyond any doubt, and accepted universally. But for that, they've slain each other, set up gods, challenged one another. Oh, put away thy gods. Come, 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 worship ours, or we will kill thee, kill thee, and thy gods. For the secret of man's being is not just to live, but to have something to live for. In truth, Thou alone didst undermine thy kingdom. Rejecting all three powers offered thee in that wilderness to capture forever the conscience of these rebels for their happiness. It was miracle, it was mystery, it was authority. Thou didst reject all three. Thou wouldst not come down from the cross when they shouted at thee. Thou, thou wouldst not come down from the cross when they shouted at thee. Oh, no, 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 no. Thou wouldst not enslave man by miracle. <laughs> Fifteen centuries have passed, and so unrest, confusion, unhappiness. That is the present lot of man. After all, thou didst bear for his freedom. So, so. We have corrected thy work. We have corrected thy work and founded it upon those same three powers. Miracle Mystery, authority. Miracle, Miracle. Mystery. mystery, authority. Beest angry. I don't want thy love. I love thee not. For eight centuries we have not been working with thee, but with that great spirit that tempted me. That, 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 that is our mystery. From him we. We took Rome, the sword of Caesar, and we shall triumph. And then, then we shall plan the 
universal happiness of man. All that thou didst reject. With us all will be happy. Oh yes, 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 we shall set them to work, but they will love us like children because we allow them to sin with our permission in thy name. It is only we who guard this mystery shall dwell in agony. So, judge us. So, judge us. Judge us if thou canst and darest. Oh, I fear thee not. I too was in that wilderness. I too lived on roots and locusts. I too, I prize that freedom which thou didst bestow upon man. But, but I did awaken and I would not serve madness. I would not serve madness. I turned my back and I joined the ranks of those who have corrected thy work and so tomorrow thou shalt see that obedient flock who, at a sign from me, shall heap high the hot cinders with which I shall burn thee. For coming to hinder us. <laughs> Anybody ever deserved our flames? It is thou. <laughs> Tomorrow I shall burn thee. Oh, no, no, no. 